my wife and I just had a kid. And we got a package in the mail with these baby shoes in it. And I was wondering who they were from. And I got a call from my agent. She said, hey, how's the songwriting going? I said, not good with all these sleepless nights. She said, oh, yeah. Then she said, you get the shoes? I said, oh, yes, thank you. They will fit him perfect. And she said, they're not for him, they're for you. I said, what? She says, you know that famous short story about baby shoes? I said, you mean the Hemingway one? She said, yeah. I said, okay, yeah, the one that goes for sale, baby shoes never worn. She goes, yeah, it's supposed to be the shortest of the short stories. And uh, do you understand it? I said, well, Linda, it's, uh, it's six words long. So I, th I think it explains itself. She goes, why don't you have a go at it? I said, do you not understand? I said, a couple has a baby, the baby dies, and then they sell the pair of shoes that the baby never got to wear. <laughs> she said, yeah, that's it. She goes, what do you think of it? I said, well, it's powerful, but uh, to tell you the truth, it's a little weird considering my current circumstances. What's this about? She says, I got a job for you. I said, oh, okay. She goes, it has to do with that story. I said, oh, I see. Then she told me. And after she told me, I said, Linda, Linda, you're my agent. I will always respect you. But I, I really don't think that this is a good subject for a musical. She said, why not? I said, well, because it's the shortest of the short stories. And if I turn it into a musical, it's going to lose some of that uh, intrinsic power that makes the original so great. And she says, <laughs> she says, what part? I was like, well, I don't know, the shortness, you know, of the shortest short stories ever written. It's, the shortness is going to be lost, Linda. She goes, what about Sondheim? I said, what about Sondheim? She goes, well, he wrote that musical about that painting and no one ever complained about some intrinsic value of the painting being lost. I said, Linda... Surely you can understand the difference here. It, the entire power of this short story is in its brevity. And then she paused and she said, Yeah, how's that tax investigation going? I said, well, it's ongoing. And then she said, Are kids' clothes expensive? And before I could reply, she goes, Because they're going to pay you a lot for this. I said, How much? <laughs> she said, she gave me the figure. I said, oh, a month? She said, a week. Of course, they're going to want you to update it. Oh, no problem. Update it. Fine. Yeah, so they'll, uh, the couple will sell the shoes on uh, Craigslist. She said, oh, great. I said, this is going to work. This is going to work. It's going to be great. Uh, the protagonist can be a single mother, let's say. She's got two jobs. Needs both of them in order to buy the shoes. One job, what one job per shoe. And she goes, oh no, I don't want her to be poor. I said, not, not poor, why? Because if she's selling the shoes, maybe she needs the money. You know, she goes, no, I think that, that the couple should be aspirational because we're all tired. We're all tired and we just need something frothy. And I said, Linda, you know, th this is a story of devastating heartbreak. And she goes, and shopping. Don't forget, it's a story about shopping, too. Just to shut her up, I... I choose... Immediately started writing. The shoes... Not red, but blues... Or do the shoes choose me? I don't know. She said, that's great, but they don't want like a Sondheim thing. They want something like that Springsteen show that was such a success. I said, okay, okay. Uh, just so you know, that Springsteen show was a big success because it had Springsteen in it. And she said, oh, please, you play guitar, right? Baby, she don't make 
the news Baby shoes I didn't know. She says, you're gonna be great. Just don't forget that it needs a big rousing finale. It's like rousing finale, I mean, it's, that's gonna be a problem. She said, why? I said, because the baby's gonna die at some point. And she she goes, why? I was like, look, if the baby doesn't die, they're not gonna sell the shoes. I not gonna sell the shoes if the baby lives. She says, well, maybe he grows out of them. It's like, Linda, I, Linda, I can't do this. She said, just imagine that there's a sequel. I was like, a sequel? Yeah, that pays even better. And it'll probably be just as brief. <laughs> Doctor called. Doctor called. Baby better. Keep shoes. I said, Linda, that's not the story. She says, well, what story do you want to tell? You want to tell the story of a baby that dies or do you want to tell the story of a baby that lives? And that night, I, uh, I went to look at my child as he slept. And I thought, well, this kid's going to live. And he will. He's going to have a very expensive pair of shoes. Baby, she...